This is Dr. Robert Malone in the late 1980s when he conducted what Nature Magazine calls a landmark experiment in San Diego on the path to the COVID-19 vaccines. And this is Dr. Malone today. Regarding the genetic COVID vaccines, the science is settled. They're not working. Messages like that have made the UCSD grad a star in the anti-vaccine community and gotten him banned from Twitter in the process. Nearly 300 doctors signed a letter saying Malone spreads predatory medical misinformation like this from the Joe Rogan podcast. Think twice about giving these jabs to your kids. Among other things, your, your girls are born with all the eggs they will ever have. And these lipids are going to the ovaries and they appear to be affecting menstruation in some way. The CDC flatly rejects that. So where does Dr. Malone really fit in to vaccine history? Yeah, I mean, his papers were landmark papers and I, we shouldn't take that away from him. Ailey Dolgan is a science journalist who writes for Nature. But his uh, sowing doubt in, into the efficacy and the safety of the vaccines are also landmark um, threats to our public health. He says back in the 80s, Malone teamed up with a scientist named Dr. Phil Feldner for a series of important early experiments, first at the Salk Institute, then at a San Diego company called Vical. Dr. Feldner invented the first lipid nanoparticle. Malone mixed it with mRNA and injected them into the first living organism. And the two are listed on papers together. Do you have any idea why he's like so soured on the technology? Oh, I, I don't, uh, I don't uh, have a much of an explanation for that. It's mysterious to me too. As for Malone, he did not respond to an email from us seeking comment, but he has said publicly that he feels he's not getting the credit for his work that he deserves. He wants to be seen as the inventor of this technology and when he, uh, when he wasn't by the scientific establishment, I don't know, I guess he, maybe he just turned against it. He considers Dr. Feldner a possible contender for the Nobel Prize and says Dr. Malone might be one too, if not for his crusade against the vaccines. I think everything he's done in the past year to sow doubt about the technology will be far more consequential in the grand scheme of things than experiments that he did that helped move the science forward 30 plus years ago. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.